name is Gary Bedicher. I'm a faculty member at the University of Houston Clear Lake. And one of the things that concerns me is how we interact with computers. A lot of times we work with computers and we're working with computers on their terms. For example, we interact a lot with a keyboard and a mouse. Now the problem that occurs is these are very unnatural gestures. And as a consequence of doing this in a repetitive manner, people get carpal tunnel syndrome and have to get operations and it's very, very painful. So then the question becomes, what can we do to interact on the machine so we're working more on our terms rather than the computer's terms? And that brings us to our video. In this video, we're going to see some demonstrations of what's called brain-machine interaction. Brain-machine interaction is what's equivalent to thought mining. Basically, people are thinking things, moving things, whatever, and the machine is responding based on thoughts as opposed to people conforming to the machines. An example I want to show you here involves reading people's brain waves using an EEG machine by a company called BrainMaster. And as we read the brain waves, they'll be controlling a variety of applications. This first example is written by one of my students in the Computer Human Interaction class this past fall and is based on a game from the 1970s called Pac-Man. And in his demonstration, what he does is he, <clears throat> he uses brain waves in a binary way to either move the Pac-Man figure or stop it. So you'll see this as he tries to avoid getting eaten by the ghosts and to eat the corresponding pellets. Hope you enjoy. Twenty-five cents, please. <laughs> so it's too easy. A little too easy. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Is maybe we should uh, get some more. Uh... Whoa. I think he's got the hang of it. <laughs> you got the pulse back, I guess. That's just a sort of. Now the second example shows the brain waves for two people in a competitive mode. And they're playing the old game Pong, but a revised version of that called Plasma Pong. And so in this example you'll see two students kind of moving the paddles up and down. Now you'll notice that the students are sitting rather close to each other because our wire's a little bit short, but I think that's a minor uh, problem. So I hope you enjoy this portion of the video. In our third example, instead of having a competitive situation, we have a cooperative situation. And within the Google Earth program, there's a flight simulator. So this program interacts with the flight simulator, and you'll see these two students are thinking the plane kind of going left and right and up and down. So I hope you enjoy this portion of the video. Oh, the other way, the other way, the other way. Oh, you're mad. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, doing good, doing good, doing good. Just helping you out, okay. You're on your own, gentlemen. That was a great yeah, one. Yeah, that's good. We might need those bags from over here. That's what I was thinking. I can see. I can see my house. Oh, 
always leveling out. You guys are probably doing this better than if I were to use a keyboard to try it. I suck at these uh, the flights. Yeah, Whoa, that's that was nice. Okay, yeah, that is pretty impressive. In this last portion of the video, two students are working together to maneuver their way through a maze. One student is thinking left and right. The other student is thinking up and down. So I hope you'll enjoy this. Thank you. Because yeah, both of them got to time it exactly when they're over yeah. there. I highly recommend this being on here. <laughs> you an idea of some of the potential that we have in brain-human interaction. What we've seen here is the ability to use thoughts to control computer applications. Obviously you could use thoughts to control objects, mind over matter. Some of the potential for this is the more we understand brain waves and the patterns, for example, language formation, it offers us a lot of opportunity to develop more complex systems based on brain patterns rather than singular movements. So I hope you consider joining me in some of this research. I think it's really exciting and has fantastic potential. Thanks a lot. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye-bye.